What's good, YouTube fight fans all over the world? It's your boy, The Realist of the Real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real Talk Boxing. It's a privilege, an honor, and a blessing to be back at you good people again. Sweating as usual, putting in work. I guess I got to make this video. <clears throat> no, I didn't have to. You know, but I really wanted to get on here and, and, and make this video to, to state that I was probably wrong. I was probably wrong about something. I have been stating for the past year and a half that we will probably never see Deontay Wilder in the boxing ring again. I did state that. And I did believe that. I truly believed that. But looks like I was wrong. Because July 24th at T-Mobile Arena, we will have the trilogy. It's announced. We have a date. I'm still skeptical. I'm still not going to believe it until I see it. But, I mean, the powers that be say it's going down. We're going to have Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3. Um, who's excited for this? I just want it done and over with. You know, there was always this back and forth. There was always this, yes, we're going to fight. No, we're going to fight. There was Tyson Fury saying that I will never fight Deontay Wilder again. There's Deontay Wilder with his million and a half excuses on why he lost. Um, there's so much drama and, and, and BS and lies within this whole freaking... Oh, so much, so much BS that surrounds these two fighters. And we all know I'm not a fan of Deontay Wilder and... Tyson Fury has put a bad taste in my mouth here, here as of late. Um, we just don't know what to believe out of either fighter when it comes to certain things. Um, but, I mean, obvious, obviously it's going down. But I ask this question again. Who's excited about it? I'm not. To be honest with you, I'm not. It's long overdue. Um, I myself don't think Tyson Fury has anything to prove. Anything else to prove when it comes to Deontay Wilder and fighting him? I thought that he won by points in the first matchup. Regardless of the two knockdowns, he won the majority of the rounds. That's just my opinion. I saw the fight. I saw the fight five times. I mean, we don't have to say anything about the second fight. We saw what happened. It was a massacre. It was a mismatch. It was like an amateur versus a pro in the second fight. Um, but there are some people out there who still believe in Deontay Wilder. Um, should these guys step back into the ring like they're saying they will? Uh, does Deontay Wilder stand a chance? We all know he does. We, we all know he does. Um, to be as unskilled as I believe he is, he has accomplished a lot. He started boxing at the age of 20 and became the WBC heavyweight champion. Now... How he became the WBC champion. You know, but nevertheless, he had to get in there and throw hands to, to, to beat the fighters that they put in front of him. So, you know, I mean, I ain't gonna I'm not gonna hate on the dude. I'm not gonna hate on the dude today. I in my opinion, and a lot of other opinions, um, I don't I never hate on him. I just I just speak factually. And a lot of the times my my emotions um say otherwise, you know. But um T Mobile Arena Vegas, I, I just don't know how this fight is going to play out. I don't know how this fight is going to sell. I don't know how it's going to do in sales. I don't think it's going to do good at all, to be honest with you. I mean, it's just been so much BS that goes along with this whole circus that these two fighters have created. Um, more so on Deontay, Deontay Wilder's side. There's been more antics and, and lies and, and, and deceit on his side. Than, than Tyson Fury in my opinion but Tyson Fury is not a clean cut guy himself you know what I'm saying I'm not saying that he cheated in any way shape or form but we don't know what to believe out of his mouth we're gonna fight we're not gonna fight I'm fighting AJ I'm not fighting AJ 
Uh, there's an arbitration. We're going to pay him, step aside money, yada, yada, yada. We don't know what's going on. Okay? So here's where it leaves me. Both of y'all shut up and fight. Get it over with. Get it over with. Now, do I think Deontay Wilder stands any more of a chance than he did in the last fight? No, I don't. Here's why. Now, I know a lot of us have been seeing the footage of the, the hand mitts and the, the heavy bag. Uh, but really doesn't tell us much. We, we haven't seen him in there with a body. We haven't seen him sparring. Uh, we've seen him throwing different combinations on the hand mitts. And, and to be honest with you, they haven't, they haven't fought in 16 months. That's like a year and a half. And you would think with a year and a half layoff that Deontay Wilder would have improved much more than what we see on the hand mitts now. Because he still doesn't slip good. He still doesn't roll really good. His legs are still wide. Um, his jab looks better. His legs look a little bit stronger. But if you can't roll up underneath a hook as a professional fighter the correct way, then that tells me that you haven't been doing much in this year and a half that you've had off, bro. Like, I'm just saying. Here I am stating what I see, my opinion, so y'all don't jump on me. And you got a lot of people, well, Tyson Fury has gained weight. He has a muffin top. That leads me to believe that Deontay Wilder is going to knock him. When has Tyson Fury not had a muffin top? The only fight that I can think of the Tyson Fury didn't have a muffin top was the first fight against Deontay Wilder when he was slim, trim, and depleted. Other than that, he's always had a muffin top. And guess what? He's still undefeated. See, people say the craziest things sometimes. You got to come with, you got to come correct when you're talking about whether or not a fighter's going to lose. You can't, you can't gauge that on a muffin top. I mean, I still got man boobs and I can still throw my hands. I can still get in there and spar. I can still get in there and do damage. Just saying. And I got man boobs. Doesn't matter if he has a muffin top or not. You dig what I'm saying? So listen. I'm not excited for this fight. I'm ready for it to be over with. I will definitely watch the fight. Of course, I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover it, excuse me, because there's going to be a lot of drama. And there's going to be a lot of talks about it before and after. For a long, long time. Press conference. It's actually tomorrow. Now, what do I expect in the press conference? The same thing I expect out of both fighters in any press conference. They're going to be talking crap. Deontay Wilder is going to be spitting out garbage that doesn't make any sense. Tyson Fury is going to be going a, 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 a hundred miles with his jabs and, 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 and verbal abuse to Deontay. You big dos up. We're going to hear the same thing. And we're going to see, more than likely, Deontay Wilder throw a fit. Get in, his, get in his feelings and just become a huge, flat-out drama queen. I guarantee you there'll probably be some yelling, that wide eye. He'll start whispering at some point in time like this, and he'll get loud. You know, it's, it's going to be the same thing. I'm, I'm, I've seen it. I'm done with it, and I'm over it. Like, just strap up, get the fight over with so we can move on, so we can have an undisputed now, what I'm most excited about this fight is this will be the first time that Tyson Fury Tyson Fury has fought and defended his title. First time. To me, I'm happy about that because we have never seen Tyson Fury defend a title. But now, hopefully, because we do have some time between now and July 24th, there's a lot of BS that can go on between these two fighters. Y'all all know, as well as I do, we don't know what's going to go on between that point. We don't know what's going to go on when you're dealing with Wilder and Fury. Hopefully it's a go. I was wrong. It looks like that we won't see Deontay Wilder in the ring again. It looks like he's going to be in the ring again. What do I think is going to happen? I think the same thing is going to happen. It's the second fight. Probably worse, probably sooner. I could be wrong. Deontay Wilder could sneak a right hand in there. But it's not like Tyson Fury hasn't tasted that right hand. He tasted it in the first fight. Got dropped twice. He actually tasted it in the first round of the second fight. And he ate it. He felt it. He didn't lie and say he wasn't hurt. He said, I felt it. It felt like dynamite. So, you know, 
Deontay always has a fight, a puncher's chance. He always had a, has a puncher's chance. The dude's, the dude's explosive with the right hand, you dig? But everything else that they have implemented in his arsenal, to me, it doesn't look like he's been training the year and a half he's been off. Judging by what I see on the hand miss and all this new training footage. Listen, all I want to know is what you think about it. Comment down below, let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all. Fear none, God bless. Until the next time, Real Talk Boxing. I'm up. I'm out of here.